Hello Leos and welcome back to Deku Tarot and to your December 2019 monthly reading. So Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus is the end of a decade and it will be the beginning of a new one very shortly. Um, again, this is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it doesn't resonate, guys, the messages aren't for you. So let's see what's happening this month for you guys. I'm going to shuffle the cards, go over the astrology a little bit here, and then we'll start pulling, okay? So if you guys haven't, um, do make sure to subscribe. Do make sure to share the video if you enjoy it and if you think it could help somebody. I do appreciate that. And if you want to book a private reading or get in touch for any other reason, all my information is right below this video in the description box. Leo, there's a lot of six health energy that we're about to go into um, because we're going to have a lot of Capricorn. Well, we already have a lot going on with Capricorn, but we're going to have even more going on with Capricorn for the next year, starting December 3rd when Jupiter moves into Capricorn, your sixth house. Um, so there's going to be a lot more focus on daily habits, health routines, um, breaking negative health patterns, breaking negative daily routine type patterns. So maybe getting more rest, drinking more water, eating better, um, exercise routines. You really want to vibrate higher in terms of life. On December 10th, we have Mercury moving into Sagittarius, which is your fifth house. Um, so you're going to be focusing on pleasure, fun. Um, your business. It's going to give you a huge creativity boost as well because it is the fifth house. We have December 11th, 12th, the full moon lunar eclipse in Gemini, which is your 11th house. So it's going to bring up a lot of stuff about 11th house, which is new friends and, you know, your social groups, your communities. So you might be focusing on um, where you stand in friendship groups, you know, you might also be wanting to bring a more leadership quality because you are Leo to some friendship groups. You might want to lead in terms of a community, in terms of a project. Um, there's a lot of social group stuff going on there for you guys. And you're a very show, social sign. So there could be some hierarchical um, social group stuff going on that you might be dealing with or have on the mind there. Um, December 20th, 21st, we have Venus going into Aquarius, which is your seventh house. So it's going to be all about relationships. Um, you know, maybe we could be meeting new people. Um, what's good for our relationship? It's going to really help in terms of communicating and sorting out relationships, okay? On December 22nd, we have the sun moving into Capricorn. And on December 26th, we have um, a solar eclipse in Capricorn. Uh, sorry, new moon solar eclipse. <laughs> and it's going to be in your sixth house, all of this. Um, so we're going to be really focusing on this rejuvenation, on recalibrating in terms of our life, focusing more on healthy matters. Um, you might also be trying to take some power back in terms of your career and in terms of life. This is a really great, um, this is a really great time, honestly, and it will be all throughout 2020 in terms of sorting out, just feels like sorting out routine stuff, sorting out daily life stuff so that you can just make your life a lot lighter, easier. Um, we'll talk more about that in the yearly though. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So we'll see what your energy this month is. Okay. We're using the Gustav Klimt deck. So let's check out what your energy this month is. All right. Leo's, Leo sun, moon rising and Venus. What is their energy? December, 2019. Too many cards. Come on. Give me one face up, please. Leo. December 2019 for your energy. I just feel like you guys have been putting a lot of attention and energy into maybe the material. Money, creating, whatever material is for you. Yeah, and your focus and your energy this month, well, not your focus, but your energy this month is Six of Pentacles, getting what you're putting in, and you need to make sure that you are doing so as well, but there could be um, a lot of exchanges going on this month. There could be also a need to ask for help or a need to reach out to people, to right wrongs, to balance some type of scale here, Six of Pentacles. We'll see how that comes up, because I feel like that's going to have a lot to do with your focus, so let's see what your focus is. But I 
Yeah, we need to lighten the load. And I just feel like by incorporating new practices, asking for help where we need to, especially with finances, work, um, health routines, just a little bit of guidance here and there, just putting efforts into these areas, you will see a lot of the burdens of your daily life, a lot of the accumulated stress, um, maybe even for some of you weight, things that have been keeping you less active and having less energy, being able to do less. It does feel like we're going to be trying to take care of those things, you know, right some wrongs, again, balance the scales. Because the Six of Pentacles, um, Six is for me are always a good sign that you're on the right path. You're getting your due dividends here. You're going to get back what you put in. But again, the Six of Pentacles does have you asking for help or receiving something. You know, you have to put an effort first, ask for something or do something to receive that money, to receive, um, again, that stability, whatever this gift is. And again, it does feel like it's very materially, fo materially focused, but um, it could be that could be that receiving more money or again in, in that maybe that's why we're so focused on the material and on finances is because it'll lessen the load in some other area of our life maybe we want to move i'm getting for some of you i'm getting that whatever this is you know a lot of our stress is a lot of anxiety a lot of the burdens that we carry the too much too many burdens, too much stuff going on. Maybe you have, maybe you're somebody that works a lot of different jobs as well, but something has to be lessened and you need to make some compromises because the Six of Pentacles, yes, is about balance, but it is also about compromise. It's also about needing to ask or do something to receive. Um, it does also, you know, again, the generosity is repaid through material here, but... And if you have been very generous and you've needed somebody to pay you back or you needed some money back for some stuff that you feel like, you know, you've spent too much on. And I'm going to warn you guys this month, try, I know it's the holidays, but try not to spend overspend because as, if you keep things in check and you keep things in balance, it's going to feel a lot better when you get to the end of this season, the beginning of next year, and you suddenly have a lot more things going on and when we hit Capricorn season and all of next year is going to be really Capricorn heavy. So it's going to have us really like highlighting focusing on the money on the more serious aspects maturing aspects of that needing to be mature in terms of how we are spending our money and in terms of who we're spending time and material and generosity on you need to cut back in some areas and you'll see your life lighten interesting let's see what else you're focusing on this month i feel like that's not done communication moving up i just feel like you really want to get somewhere fast you need places to go you need to do something there are changes that you want very suddenly you could be receiving also a lot of information this month or sending out a lot of you know i think digital information it feels like when i get the um knight of swords here he's very the knight and the page of swords for me for some reason often represent digital communication quick communication um reaching out to somebody or hearing something through email he's also very harsh he's kind of not i wouldn't say he's a very soft energy he's very action oriented almost military like kind of energy very serious there's a lot of bravery determination um we'll see what else and again, yeah, we really want, I don't know why, I just get the feeling that some of you want money so that you can move. You want something to work out in terms of, in terms of, you know, the material and financial so that you can get somewhere else. You're trying to, I don't know, it just feels like when I get the Four of Pentacles reversed, I often feel that it's like destabilizing a created, um, what is the word, foundation foundation that you have created through hard work especially in terms of money in terms of home um because fours kind of have a lot to do with the home the family the money the stability um and kind of being present where you are and when i get the four of pentacles reverse i have to say you know it just feels we just don't feel secure i just feel like financially a lot of you guys are fo so focused on it because you are so insecure about it you're insecure about where it's going so now let's look at Let's look at the weeks. Let's look at it week by week now. And I'm going to actually use, what are we going to use for that? We're going to use the Hobbit week by week here. And four cards for the weeks. I'll move these to the side. 
Let's look at it week one and then we'll see how it progresses in terms of energy. And then we're going to look at your major obstacles and defining events. Okay. So week by week, week one for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus is the energy. I'm not surprised that that's there. I would say this has a lot to do, again, with boundaries. Boundaries are a big thing with you guys. Bound, like, there's always kind of a push and pull, give and, uh, give and take kind of situation that we really need to focus on in terms of our boundaries. Do we let people overstep their boundaries too often? Friends, people that we love, and we get make excuses for it. Especially in terms of work, if we want to be nice, we want people to like us. You might let people overstep your boundaries too much, or you might have overstepped some boundaries. I mean, it could also be obvious. I mean, opposite. I find that Leos have problems on both sides with that. You know, overstepping boundaries and letting others overstep their boundaries. Hanged man comes up there for week two, needing to sit, needing to look at what isn't working here. This is asking you to slow down and really focus on what doesn't feel right on what's coming up to kind of block you at this time. You might be trying to move forward in some ways. You might want to lessen the load, but for some reason you can't. And you really need to look at why this is coming up and what needs to be changed. Is this something that has happened in the past? And with the two past, you know, Capricorn eclipses, um, kind of finishing out here this month with the last Capricorn eclipse and this 26th, I just feel like we've heard, we've learned some hard lessons and it's going to come back once again. So think back to what you learned around them, what was happening. And if that energy is coming up again, but in a different and transformed way, it's time to look at it and how we can shift and change moving forward based on what wasn't working in the past. Ooh, week three is looking good. Last week. Okay. Your last week, your third week is two of cups, which is great. We're going to look into that a little bit because that feels lovey-dovey good stuff. Um, fair exchange. And then um, your last week is a little bit, hmm, because um, it's five of swords, <laughs> which could bring up some fights, some conflict coming on here. Um, let's now get some cards for what is going to be your major obstacles in defining events this month. Going back to the Gustav Klimt deck here. What are your obstacles in defining events this month, Leo? I think for some of you, and I, don't, I mean, we're going to look at this in the love reading as well, but there's relationship problems coming up here and how we approach relationships and what we carry. Well, why we put ourselves in them when it ends up feeling like a ten of wands and... And ends up fighting. I feel like some of you are going to look at a relationship that you thought was sunshine and happiness. And how we've really been in relationships. And I don't know why. I just feel like there's a sudden rebelliousness. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. I can't do this. I need to do something totally different. Because you're going to look back at the past year. And you're going to be like, oh my god. I thought I was growing, changing, doing all this stuff. But what I need to look at is what I really need. Rather than what feels comfortable in what I want. Whoa, what is happening? Mm, yeah. Again, money is like what you guys are focusing so much on the material. And I got to be honest, like, <laughs> I think the material is going to be okay. It usually is for you. We'll look at that. Don't worry. Um, Ace of Pentacles reversal. You don't feel stable. You don't feel secure at all. There's just um, a misuse Again, if there's been misuse of wealth, I have to say you need to pay attention to how you spend your money this month. It is the holiday season, and I know that's tough. Please don't get mad at me for trying to tell you what to do. I don't want to tell you what to do, but if it's going to be detrimental to spend a ton of money on a ton of people and looking real good and buying this, buying that, it's probably not worth it. You know, again, holidays are all about the material. We need to focus more on the spiritual, on the coming together, and less about how we look to others and how we think that you know we're coming across let get away from the aesthetics and more into the spiritual more into the feelings right now because i think the material is really distracting you yeah oh my gosh meanwhile we have the tower coming in 
for what are your obstacles. We're going to have to look. We have to ask about this one. All right, let's ask about the tower here because, listen, that ain't nothing to sniff at for an obstacle. And now I'm getting, like, heart palpitations about it. <laughs> Yeah, that's a defining event, all right, especially if you're dealing with a Virgo. Or, again, if you have been, again, spending too much money without thinking about the future, it's going to become a major problem, and you might have a major, major upset in terms of some other plans that you had if you don't spend, sorry, if you spend too willy-nilly. So I really got to warn you guys, watch how you spend money. I'm going to try to get this video out as soon as possible so I can try and help you guys before you do it <laughs> but really watch the bank account because you need to be thinking more long term i know Sagitt sagittarius season is like super fun for you guys and it's like yeah 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 but um it's very creative and fun and you're not really thinking in that down-to-earth practical way but capricorn season and all of 2020 will slap you so hard if you don't start thinking long term about the finances work situation right now it's like you're worried about money but you're also like doing whatever you want and i have to just warn you that that kind of that's not gonna work for you um you gotta look at the emotion it's almost like you guys some or some of you are like emotionally spending because of maybe a breakup or maybe something else going wrong and just watch it okay because she's kind of looking into her own cup, looking at her own mysteries, her own um, emotions. And maybe that's really what we need to look at here. Not maybe. That's what you need to be doing in the face of all this. Well, I can go out and have fun and do this. You really need to be looking more at what's making you want to, oh yeah, run away. Eight of Swords reversed. It will become very clear to you, you know, where you are getting yourself stuck and where and how to move forward here. Hangman and Eight of Swords reversed almost are hand in hand in some aspects just because I feel that it's a pause where you need to really evaluate your own position and why you can't move forward and why things are feeling stagnant stuck or you don't feel like things are changing and moving on the way that they should you will see things I love this combination here I love this that's great he looks at something in a different aspect he goes to the past he looks towards what he wants his future to be and he tries to bring that all into alignment what needs to be done what needs to be changed how this needs to shift and he sees it very clearly you can release yourself from this and you'll be like oh my god i didn't know i had such a hand in all this i thought it was x y and z's fault i thought it was their fault his fault her fault the company's fault but maybe I needed to look more at what my role is in all of this. Yeah, the hero font. Take it slow, take it easy, take a step back, ask for help if you need it, ask for guidance if you need it from somebody who is wiser, older possibly, or just somebody who really can help you when you are feeling kind of lost and um, directionless. The hero font is wise. Be wise, be slow, be traditional about things this month. Even when Sagittarius wants you to run around doing this, that, the other thing, there is a strong pull to a more serious place here that we need to go to rather than have fun, rather than run around willy-nilly, rather than focusing on the material. And wouldn't it be great to have gold flakes in my hot cocoa and spend $300 on a spa day and a weekend trip to like Cape Cod or I don't know I don't even know why I would say Cape Cod it's so cold up there probably right now <laughs> but you know whatever to Cabo I don't even know where Cabo is but I know a lot of people go there on vacation rich people so just don't do that kind of stuff is what I'm trying to say is really think hard about the future really think at what provokes you to do this kind of stuff and to kind of run around and run away from the more destabilizing aspects of your life, the more emotional aspects and how you kind of hide out in the material because it's something, again, that you know you can always have more control over. So yeah, you worry about money, but I have to say, Leos, you have great control over money. Fix signs are able to kind of figure that shit out. Um, pardon my friend there, Knight of Chalices, you'll be able to 
bring a more healing aspect if you give more love to your bank account. But also what I get from this is, yeah, we need to face our emotions. Delve more into a romantic place. Focus on relationships. Focus on, again, we have Venus moving into Aquarius. It's going to be a lot more lovely for you and a lot, and a lot more words of um, love, going on dates, di dipping into romanticism, focusing on relationships. And I don't mean all the good stuff. I also mean, you know, you're going to be really looking at it, especially when you get like, I can't ignore this combination. It just keeps yelling at me like he's literally yelling at him in this. But look at where he's pointing. Even on the deck, it looks like he is pointing at the two of cups. You need to, it's like you want, part of you is trying to run away from the other part of you that is really trying to show you something unhealthy about relationships or unhealthy about um, balance in relationships here. Let's, let's look a little deeper at that. The last two weeks seem like they really are focusing on that and I want to look at it. Two of cups, five of swords. And don't worry, we will do love readings I think for this month because it's getting wild. <laughs> and I can't ignore the pushes to do love readings for the end of this decade. <laughs> I feel like a jerk if I didn't, so I probably will. All right, but let's see. Two of Cups, Five of Swords. Let's clarify this for the last two weeks for you. Uh-oh, still is starting up. You need to work together. If you're in a relationship, you... Ooh. Hmm. We're going to have to go into this in a different reading. <laughs> I don't know if I can say what I'm getting right now. I just feel like it's... I don't want to. I don't want to make you guys flip out, but there's... A couple of threes here, three of wands, eight of coins, three of coins, queen of coins, and queen of wands. For some of you, you might feel that there is competition and that might cause you to get jealous and maybe a little bit paranoid and do some freaking out this month. <laughs> um, if you're in a partnership with somebody and for some reason... Again, I think that what's important that you need to learn from that whole from this whole situation, though, is going to be why these feelings of mistrust come up and what it is you need to work in work on in yourself in order to progress in a healthier way in order to be on the same wavelength in order to be building and creating relationships together instead of you know all oh, this is fine for now until I'm done with it you know there is this almost carelessness that is being confronted with sudden like oh, wait a second I'm actually jealous and I'm mad and I'm getting frustrated and what's happening here and I'm, I want to do something about this all of a sudden I don't know it's like a real switch around but you need to we're gonna we're gonna delve into this you know what I don't know if I can get any deeper into that it's feeling very messy um <laughs> if I'm being honest but relationships yeah they come into focus I think probably because Venus moves into Aquarius on the 20th 21st last two weeks there so we're going to have, again, a lot of taking our power back. And um, and I don't know why. I feel like you're going to want to just delve that, push that energy into relationships. But you need to look at this from a different perspective. And I say that because the Eight of Coins is here. And before I even started the video, the Eight of Cups was also there. This is, you need to change our, how you approach relationships, how you build yourself up, how you are with your, you know, even your relationship to yourself. There's a lot of focus, I think, that needs to be shifted from the material. I mean, I just think the only thing that I want to say to you, because I think you guys for some reason are so focused on the material and money, but you're going to be fine. Like it's, I really genuinely 100% believe you will be fine with money. Like I have no worries for you here in terms of that, but you're going to make a big deal out of that rather than what you need to make a big deal of, which is your emotions and how that plays into everything else into your life. And especially how we go about relationships um, and the patterns that we're in within relationships and how they affect us even on a daily routine kind of level <laughs> and on a mental health level, on an emotional level. Um, there needs, there's a lot that needs to be worked on within you and then that will spill into relationships in a healthy way if we're able to do that. If we're, we're able to see where we need to change and how we need to change and then implementing that change. You will see good things happen, but you need to 
I don't know why. I just feel like for some of you, it's like a jealousy thing kind of sparks this. And you're like, whoa, I didn't even know I had that in me anymore. I didn't know. I don't want to be like that. Something happens and I think you guys change and you grow. And there's a sense of maturity here. A sense of maturing and growing within relationships. We'll look at that. We'll look at that in the love reading. Because I just, I don't know if I can get any more into that. So let's see here. Let's get a Dorian Virtue Romance Angel Oracle card or a couple of them here for you guys. What's happening? Oh. Those are two very strange cards to get out next to each other. But you know what? For those of you who are in a situation that just does not seeming to bring you happiness in terms of love, it's unrecruited love. Whether it's you're never going to have those feelings for that person and you're like, oh my god, I keep doing this to myself, or I keep doing this to people in relationships. I need to seek out passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, because that will call in your soulmate. You have to be happy and passionate, and you can't just be biding time with people, or, you know, keeping people on a string, because it gives you something to do right now. I think that for a lot of you, this is kind of a signifier to say, to be healthy in relationships, you need to be alone, and really f figure out some, um, something in terms of what you're looking for and how how you are i mean just your general generally how we go about relationships um and for some of you you might be trying to go after somebody that's just an unrecruited love and you need to seek out passion and that will call your soulmate in but this person the situation it's not bringing you like what you want anymore it feels like and again that's not going to be for all of you because i'm sure some of you are in just fine partnerships and you don't have anything to worry about, and that's fine. But it's just who I'm picking up on. Let's get a Halloween Oracle by Stacey DeMarco for you guys. You saw that, right? Okay, um, Lady de los Muertos. Lady de los Muertos. And she's acceptance and equality. And then we also get, ooh, the lamp. I really like the lamp because it, to me it just says right now we might not know, might not be able to define the things that we want to. We might not be able to see a clear path where we're going, but we're going there and we're just going to have to trust and have faith right now. But let's see, Lady de los Muertos. Lady de los Muertos. Here she is. Okay. Acceptance and equality. Acknowledging that death is a natural process that will enter everyone's life at some time and that perhaps until then, we can choose to be life-affirming takes away much of the fear. Take a light approach to a situation initially and it may work out better. If you are holding on to something that does not serve you any longer, in particular material things, simplify and let go. Ooh, let me get the lamp. Remembrance. This card reminds us, oh sorry, um, yeah. This card reminds us that it is a positive thing to remember those who have passed by celebrating their life rather than mourning their death. For those with whom we did not have an easy relationship or even those we did not like leave us with valuable lessons. Sometimes we learn more from our nemesis than we do from our friends and so the darkness can illuminate our strengths and our true values so that we can live them more clearly and fully. So guys, um, those are your messages, Leo. There's a lot of shifting of perspective that you need to look at. And I feel that that lamp message, you know, sometimes we learn more from our nemesis than we do from our friends. Um, so the darkness can illuminate our strengths and our true values so we can live them more clearly and fully. I feel that that is really important in the relationship sectors for you. That's what's going to be coming up. And you're going to have to kind of sift through all of that and really figure out what it is you're supposed to be learning and how you can mature and how you can grow from here based on what's coming up right now. Ooh, okay. All right, Leos, those are your messages. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed month of December. Happy holidays to all who celebrate. Have a wonderful month, guys. If you want to book a private reading, all that info is right below this video in the description box. If um you haven't, do make sure to subscribe. Do make sure to share if you enjoyed the video and you think others would. Um, and make sure to give a like and a comment. Thank you so much, guys. Namaste.